is a lovely Thursday here at Vaquero Radio Tower Studios place. And we have a fun show for you today. Well, actually, today it's going to be kind of a chill show. We're playing some chill songs. We're going to answer some questions, as we always do. I'm very tired. <laughs> I, I'm fighting for my life out here. I haven't eaten since yesterday. I... I bear. I had like some coffee today, but not enough. Throughout, although today I'm just gonna be shouting out my friend Brandy. Hey, Brandy! It's her birthday, 22. I've known that woman since she was 18, going on 19, and now we're old, and we're getting older every day. <laughs> um, yeah, we have a lot of questions as always. Love, love y'all's questions so much. Thank you so much for giving me questions to answer on the air because I would just get up here and yak otherwise. Uh, yeah. Hope everyone's having a great time. It is, we're still mid semester. It's coming to an end. I mean, yeah, after April, we, that's like finals and then we're done. That's crazy. I'm exhausted. I know you're exhausted. So come chill with me today. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, no, that's it. That's, that's about it. All right. So, coming up, we have some Labyrinth and Zendaya, some The Weeknd, some Caliuchis. You're listening to Mula Vibes, only on Zacara Radio, the Valley Student Station, hosted by me, DJ Santana. Uh, but, before we get into show, let's play a fun little promo for another one of the fabulous Zacara Radio shows that we have here. All right, that was Solita by the incomparable Kelly Uchis. Uh, let's see. Ooh, hold on. Okay, let's see. Sorry, I was trying to... So... Anyway. All right, let's hop into some questions. What do we have here today? Um... Oh, here we go. Here's one that I did not answer last week. When are age gaps good and when are they not good? How to know when an age gap is a problem? I, well, <laughs> I'm not, mm. mom, if you're listening to this, close your ears, but I have never been in a relationship where the age gap was good or anything. I've never been in any situation where the age gap is not bad in some way or in some way probably predatory um yeah yeah it it's just no matter how mature you think you are you really do and i i'm sure i've said this before because i'm irritating but you there <laughs> there's never a good enough reason for there to be a huge age gap in a relationship it just it's not realistic it's not it's not good i'm so sorry i'm fighting with this mic um yeah i've never seen it be good i've never seen it be done where it's like a great thing and something that we should be aiming for it you really do have to ask yourself why does this person why is this person you know pursuing me and where does that desire to be with me come from? Um, because if you're 18 and you're being pursued by a 40-year-old or anything like that, it doesn't really matter that you're a legal adult. It's weird and icky, and we should discuss why it's weird and icky and why you probably shouldn't be in that situation. And, I mean, it. your brain isn't really done fully developing until you're 25, I'm 23, and I, like, even now at 23, I don't see, like, the urge to look at someone who's 18 and be like, oh, yeah, let me get with that. It, it's just, it's not realistic to me, and it just, I don't really see why. And I know it's not just men, there are women who do it too, and I think age gaps, in a sense, can be incredibly predatory, especially if... I mean, you could be young and um, in college and a professor or something that does have inherent power dynamics. And I was having this conversation with my friends. Shout out to Brandy. Love you. Love you, baby doll. It's your birthday. And they were like, you know, I wouldn't judge. I, however, am judgmental. 
I'm a B word and I have opinions and we're all going to hear about it. I, it's inherently predatory. It is. You're a grown adult and that is someone who is fresh out of childhood and it's weird. It is. And to say otherwise is a disservice to everyone and anything. It is. It, it's weird. Why are you as a grown adult chasing after someone that is in college or fresh out of college or fresh out of high school? It's weird. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. I If you're 30 and you're dating someone who's 50, it, it, you're at such a different point in your life than if you are 18 dating someone who's 30 or... Oh my god, this mic is just not... It's not... this. The mic... Rude. Rude is what it is. I I don't know. It, you're at such a different point in your life when you're in your early 20s compared to when you're in your 30s or when you're in your 40s. It, it's different. And to, it is different for everyone. And I'm, I'm not saying that there aren't relationships out there where the relationship can't evolve into something that is good and pleasant and... Um, I don't know. It's not for me. I I think that there will always be this innate power dynamic that makes it inherently predatory. But it you're a human being and you can live your own life and you, you know, you make your own decisions. Let's pull a tarot card out for you though. I am on the verge of fainting. I am so hungry. I I want to cry. Um uh, <laughs> All right, so you got the chariot reverse. This talks about unethical ways of getting your unethical means of getting your way, ill health, restlessness, decadence, and a desire for change. I think that you're at a point in your life where you feel like being in a relationship with this person is what you need right now. And I'm not sure that it is you're incredibly restless and you want to make a change and you think that this change is what you need right now but I just I don't see it being a good thing for where you are at this point in your life by what the cards have said and I think that it's important to remember that if you're anywhere from 18 to like 20 25 you have you have not lived enough of your life to say okay this this is it this is like this is it this is it i've learned everything i need to learn i can make every decision that needs to be made i have lived a very hard life and by 23 i can tell you that i have learned a lot but i am not at a point in my life where i would see a man who is 20 years my age and say oh yeah no this is totally something i should get into right now i it just it isn't I, I understand that there is an inherent predatoriness to that. And I have been in situations before where it's not where there is that age gap and I'm I don't notice that and I don't see that. And it and looking back, it was weird that these men were like thirty plus trying to get with an eighteen, nineteen year old. And I think you need to look at why this person has reached out to you and what dynamic your relationship has as of right now before it even develops into a romantic one. Because that was such a long answer and such a deep dive of a question. We're going to hop back into some music. Up next, we have Doja Cat and The Weeknd. We have Wallows featuring Claro. We have some Lana Del Rey. You're listening to Moonlit Vibes with DJ Santana, only on Becca Radio, the Valley Student Station. But also, we have a fun little promo for you guys. Give it a listen. All right, that was Watercolor Eyes by Lana Del Rey. Oh, we're halfway through the broadcast today, and I am exhausted. I genuinely, I, I love the show. I love being here. I love y'all. But, oh, my God, I'm fighting for my life out here. Anyway, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? We got some more questions. All right. <clears throat> My parents hate my significant other. What should I do? These is this is these these. This is one of those questions where I need a little more context, but I'm gonna try my best. So 
I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, it's it's one of those things where you have to ask yourself who's in the wrong. Is my partner really not that great and my family sees that or is my family being Ooh. weird for an unnecess- unnecessary, unspecified reason? It could be, honestly, it could be both. And that's what sucks with family sometimes is that you don't know. You can't, d- The what I would do is approach your family and be like, okay, what is it about my significant other that you don't like? If all they can give you is, I just don't like their vibe or something to that effect, th- it's not worth it. Just tell them, this is my partner, this is who I'm with, and this is why. And I care about them, I might love them, blah, blah, blah. If it's your family who, if if your family genuinely has reasons, uh, address them and say, okay, well, here, X, Y, Z. Um, let's say they are like, oh, well, I just, you know, when we first met, they were so weird. They were like, your, your significant other was so odd. Like, they didn't make eye contact with us or they didn't talk with us. Blah, blah, blah. And your significant other, your partner has, I don't know, social anxiety or they're just very, they're just an awkward person. You can say, hey, you know what? Don't judge a book, a book, a (laughs) book. Don't judge a book by its cover. Don't like just assume that they're weird all the time. They're a really cool person. Try to get to know them. It, it's hard when it comes to family because sometimes it, it can be both. It can be both that your significant other or your partner is kind of a bad word. And then it can also be that your family is just weird. Uh, or it can be neither of those things. It can just be that like the, the vibes just were off on the first meeting. You have to give them a chance to get to know each other and then see how it goes. And that's hard (laughs) we live in covid we live in covid times where everything is crazy and you can't always like be with your family or around them and situations are just hard it if your family is important to you explain to them why your significant other is important to you and just do the best that you can it can be hard i know it can be hard but the best thing that i can say is to try to open those lines of dialogue and have your partner and your family sort of making those, you know, things. Did I just change the way I talk? I, <laughs> I mean, that was weird. I feel like I was talking with an accent anyway. Um, all right. So you got, wait, what did you get? Okay. You got the two of a swords reversed, which sometimes talks about imposters But in this scenario, I am focusing a lot more on the feelings of release and movement and tension being released. Your family, it seems like, maybe in the past you've had partners that weren't loyal, that lied to you. They're worried that you're in a situation similar to that. And they are cautious. It's not so much that they don't like your partner. It's that they are worried about who you are with and that's valid it's 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 something that it it's just gonna happen for the rest of your dating life your family is going to be worried about you and who you're with and who you are dating it's just that's how families are good ones anyway but if you are sure that your significant other is an honest and good person and that you guys are in a relationship for the right reasons then allow your family to get to know them and know that side of your relationship. And I think that is just one of the things that we need to work on when we're introducing our partners to our family is knowing that we can have open discussions and it doesn't have to be an argument and it doesn't have to be like the end of the world. And I think that's super important and a lot of people seem to forget that. All right, so we have... Okay, let's do one more question before we get back to some music. Um, how to get out of a rut. I'm baby. (laughs) I, uh, when I'm in a rut, I am the worst person to be around. It is so hard, especially if it's a creative rut, depending on if you're an artist or a writer or just a creative person of any kind. When you're in a creative rut, it can feel like you will never be able to create anything ever again. And it is just so insane and crazy. And I, a lot of the times when I'm in a rut, I get a lot of, like, 
mental stuff where I get like imposter syndrome and I'm just like, I was never talented to begin with. Everyone lied to me. And that is not. <laughs> and that's not always the case. A lot of the times you need to learn to just allow yourself to experience a rut and just move on. It won't last forever. When you're in the middle of it, it feels like it will last forever. But you can learn to let it go and be free and be cool. And I know that sucks and that's hard. And what can you do? What can you say? It, when you're in the moment, you're just like, oh, my God, I'm never going to be able to be creative again. Um, and that's just for creative ruts. There's dating ruts. My God, have I ever been in a dating rut. Sometimes my phone is so dry, it's basically the Sahara. There's no text coming in. There's no Snapchats. There's nothing. There's no DMs. No one's trying to slide into my DMs. It is just dead. <laughs> dead. I... Dating ruts are harder. It's important to remember that they don't last forever. Uh, just with the same with with any rut, you just have to remind yourself this isn't gonna last forever. But my God, dating ruts are awful. I I will literally start like howling like a cat in heat. Like I'm scratching at the walls. I'm howling at the moon. I'm I'm just I'm ready to I, I'm right. I I go crazy. Um, if it's a work rut. Like, not so much creative, but just work. You feel like you, you're not doing enough. You're not in the right headspace. Always remember that when it comes to work ruts, most jobs do not pay you enough to be losing your mind over it. They just don't. Uh, no offense to corporations everywhere. But you don't get paid enough to lose your mind over your job. Just remember that. Your mental health will always be more important than whatever's going on at work. Let me pull a tarot card out for you. Oh, we're getting a lot of reversals today. Um, all right, so you got the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups talks of when it's reversed, talks about being able to return to enjoying things, about new alliances, about a renewal in old friendships, and a renewal of hope. And I think your rut is coming to an end, baby. And you're going to be able to enjoy yourself again, whether it's creatively, romantically, work fully. Just hold on. The end is almost in sight. You are so close. Just remember that next time when a rut happens, because it will happen again. Ruts happen. They happen to the best of us. They happen to me. You are always going to be able to get through it. All right, so up next, we have some Adele. We got some Summer Walker and SZA. We got some, I don't know what. Oh, yeah, we have some Bad Bunny. You're listening to Moonlit Vibes only on Vagetta Radio, the Valley Student Station. All right, that was La Cancion by Mr. Bad Bunny. Uh, wait, did I? Yeah, I hit the right mic. Oh, my God, sorry. I was so out of it. How's everyone been? I'm crying. We're crying over here at Vaquero Radio Studios. Um, oh, yay. Shout out to me. I already got one recommendation letter from one of my professors for grad school. Yeah, DJ Santana is going to be a master's of communication. Besties, we out here. Um, What am I looking at? Oh, yeah, answers. I mean, <laughs> questions. Questions to be answered. You know what? Let's ask. Let's let's ask the audience. Do y'all got a question you want answered live on air? Mm. My infinite wisdom and my tarot card. <laughs> Baby, this ain't a suicide hotline. <laughs> anyway, all right, let's. <laughs> um, my partner wants to open up a relationship, but I don't. So many guys seem to think that, like, an open relationship is just, like, a way for them to... Most guys seem to forget that you will also be in an open relationship and that you will be able to find someone better than them. Just let yourself be... 
talk to your partner, explain to them, hey, this is something that I don't want. This is something that is so beyond me, and I am, I'm, I'm not into interested in any of that right now. And if they aren't okay with it, then they're not the one for you. And I say this a lot, like, it's good to make compromises in relationships, and that's what relationships are, one big compromise. But you have to learn when it's too much. And sometimes it is. It is too much. And it's not right for someone to ask that of you. It, it's just, it's, it's important to say, hey, I don't want this. And if you really want this, then you're going to have to go look for someone else. And I've had to say that. And you know what? It's hard and it's sad. And sometimes people t- get so offended by you setting clear boundaries and try to like leave. And it sucks. It does. And I'm, I just, sometimes open relationships and poly relationships can be so beautiful and amazing. And for some people, they are just the right kind of relationship. And they, people really blossom under those conditions. But not everyone does. And that's okay. It, it, not everyone has to want the same kind of relationship. All right. Um, let's pull a tarot card out for you. I think. All right. So you got the Ten of Pentacles, not reversed. This talks about learning from our past. This talks a lot about releasing and growing and not just physical wealth, but a wealth of wisdom. I think this is a time for you to learn and grow and allow yourself to move forward with the knowledge that you have found. And I honestly, I wish you nothing but the best, and I hope you do find someone that respects all of your boundaries. All right, well... Those are all the questions we have for today, but we're not done just yet. We still have a couple more songs to play before I make my merry way out. You're listening to Mullet Vibes with DJ Santana, only on the Gutter Radio, the Valley Student Station. Coming up, we have some Khalid, some Caliuchis, some... No, I think that's it. <laughs> all right. Remember, if you need to ask me a question, you can always shoot us a quick little question through the Radio FX app, on the Gutter Radio Instagram, on my personal Instagram, or through WhatsApp. All right, that was Telepatia with Kelly Uchis. Unfortunately, my hour is up. All right, I'll be back next Thursday. Yeah, next Thursday. And you will, you're stuck with me until the semester ends. Have a lovely rest of your day. I hope the heat doesn't beat you down. And yeah, have a good time. Stay safe this weekend. Do homework if you have it. Apply for graduation if you're graduating. Something else. I don't know. There should have been something else. But oh well. We're out of here.